can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given the circle, now let's draw two chords having an angle of 30 degrees in between them. Now let's draw a radius and this angle simply equal to 20 degrees. Now let's draw some segments like this. And take note, these two angles are the same thing. And this angle, let's call this as x. Now the question is, what is the value of angle x? Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. So given this figure, the goal is to find the measure of angle x. Alright, now in this picture, in this given, we know these two angles are the same thing. So this angle simply also equal to 20 degrees for sure. Now since this angle is 30 degrees, so using inscribe angle theorem, this intercepted arc must be twice of 30 or simply equal to 60 degrees. And now, this is 60 degrees. And what we're going to do is to use the central angle theorem. So from the center, let's draw a radius at this point. And we know this angle right over here simply equal to 60 degrees also, the central angle theorem. And now, as you can see, all radii are congruent. So these two sides are technically equivalent or the same length. Now, let's make a triangle by connecting these two points like this. We know this triangle is an isosceles triangle. So its base angle are the same thing. We have one angle is 60. These two angles is also equal to both equal to 60 degrees. So 60 plus 60 plus 60 simply equal to 180 degrees. The sum of the interior angles of any triangle. So this angle is 60. This angle is also 60 but we have here 20. So this angle is 40 degrees. Now, we have here equiangular triangle. And aside from being an equiangular triangle, an equiangular triangle is also an equilateral triangle. So this must be all sides are equal. Now at this point, what we're going to do is to focus on this quadrilateral. And let's call this angle right over here, this small angle, be equal to theta. Now we know if we add all angles inside any quadrilateral, we end up with 360 degrees. So when we add theta plus 20 degrees plus 30 degrees plus this angle, the whole thing is 360 degrees. So we have here 60, so this angle is 300 degrees. And the total of those angles simply equal to 360 degrees. So we can now find this theta. 20 degrees plus 30 degrees plus 300 degrees simply equal to 350 degrees. And theta equals 360 degrees minus 350 degrees or simply equal to 10 degrees. So we know this theta equals 10 degrees. And now, if we add 60 and 10, so this angle right over here, the total is 70 degrees. Again, if we add the total of 60 and 10 degrees, this angle makes up to 70 degrees. And now let's focus on this triangle. Now what we know in this triangle, we know two angles, 70 degrees and 40 degrees. Now let's call the third angle be equal to alpha. Now when we add, or if we add, all those interior angles, the sum is always 180 degrees. So alpha plus 40 degrees plus 70 degrees equals 180 degrees. And we can now find the value of alpha. 40 plus 70 is 110 degrees. So alpha equals 180 degrees minus 110 degrees. This simplifies to 70 degrees. So this alpha, simply equal to 70 degrees. Now, what have you noticed? The base angle are the same. Therefore, this triangle is also an isosceles triangle. So these two sides are equal or congruent. Now, finally, to find the value of this angle x, let's focus on this triangle. And what have you noticed? This triangle is also an isosceles triangle. Therefore, its base angle are congruent. 
So if this is x, this angle is also x. And if we add all of the interior angle of this triangle, we end up with 180 degrees. Now, let's solve for the value of x. x plus x is 2x. Now, subtract 20 degrees on both sides. 2x equals 160 degrees. Now, divide both sides by 2. We get that x equals 80 degrees. And this is our answer to this question. So, given this figure, then the measure of this angle x simply equal to 80 degrees. And as always, we are done.